hockey was really popular and every time there was a huge tournament the whole country was watching it and rooting for the national team because it was very successful and it was probably the best the red army team the national team and probably two other club teams they were good Olympics were covered in the country at that time. They were actually taped because of the time difference between the countries. So we were watching them next day after after the games were played. The major rivals for the Soviet team were probably the Czechs, the Swedes, and that was it. So the, the country was watching those games pretty much in the rooting for the team. The expectation was that that would be an easy ride since the U.S. team at that time was not a very big deal. So we were expecting a pretty much easy game. Besides, there were a lot of stories that the team consisted of students and that they were not playing well enough. And again, you have to understand that at that time, you know, like there was a confrontation between the superpowers, between the the U.S. and the USSR. The team was taking the the opponents very lightly and thinking, you know, like, you know, we know, we are better. That was my feeling at that time. And I guess that was the feeling... <laughs> of the team. Tretiak told me that he was really shocked during the game when Tikhonov, the coach, changed him for another goalie. He said that that was the biggest shock in his life. Tretiak told me that after that game, the game just ended and he was about to resign, but he didn't. Tretiak was number one goalie on the Soviet team and he was the best goalie in the world probably at that time. He kind of wanted to send a message to the team that they should play their best. But I guess the message was not taken by the team in the right sense. After the game, I was d- devastated, I think. And the whole country was, you know, like shocked. That was a shock. If you talk to anyone in this country, at, uh, even now, and ask what was the biggest defeat in sports for this country, most of the people would say that that was that Olympics and that game against the United States. I would say that that was not the worst thing that could ever happen. Probably to, it helped Russian hockey. The thing was that at that time, Soviets were winning, 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 winning all all tournaments, all games, all championships, Olympic games, you know, like even playing the NHL, you remember the Challenge Cup, and they were defeating other teams. And probably they were resting on their laurels. That shook them up. And after the Olympics, the Soviet team hasn't lost a game for, I think, for six years. Anytime they were playing on the international level, they were winning all games. The people were shocked. That was true. You know, the feeling was that how could that happen? Nothing like this should have ever happened. Even now, I would say that they were better and, uh, than Americans at that time. But the, the major thing at that time was the score at under the scoreboard. And the Americans have won. So that that was the result. But no matter what, you may say whatever you want to. You may say that the Russians were better. But you have the score. You have American teams giving the country the greatest win ever. So we have to congratulate the United States for that.